stay black in America, don't leave, don't go anywhere, greatest country in the world for a black man or a black woman. Ancestors bent over 400 years of slavery, reconstruction, Jim Crow, redlining, all types of racist things that hold you back because we succeed very quickly. Um, greatest country in the world, nevertheless, all those kind of things, civil war, free slavery, 600 some thousand people died during that war. Uh, a lot of white folks gave their lives for, for, for uh, the freedom slaves. And slaves had a chance to fight for their own freedom as well. So uh, don't leave, don't go anywhere. Greatest country in the world for a black man or a black woman. You can become anything you want to come here. Astronaut, president, vice president, Supreme Court justice, deans of universities, uh, corporation heads, businessmen, and, uh, anything you want. Car dealerships, anything you want to have, man. I don't leave, don't go, greatest country in the world for a black man or a black woman. Then I'm going to talk about rest. We all need it, right? It says, cease work or movement. In order to relax, refresh, or recover one's strength. Okay. It says, uh, fatigue will change your, your goals. Rest is a commandment. Rest changes your decisions radically. Rest guarantees the return of hope. Hopeless people are always tired people. Rest is a receiving position. Rest is a significant achievement. So what does the Bible say about rest? It says, come to me all ye who are weary and burdened and I will give you rest. That's what Christ said to his followers. You know, give your life to me, accept me as your Lord and Savior and I'll give you rest, I'll take you your burdens. But then also you gotta be careful along with rest because Proverbs 24, 33 says, a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest, and your poverty will come in like a thief. So rest is definitely essential. We need it. We got to recover. We can have big desires, man. We driving, we working, we we putting in our, our time. We putting eight hours a day, twelve hours a day, we're doing whatever we doing. Cause we think about what we want to achieve. Where you want that house? Where you want that car? Where you want that boat? Where you want that that vacation trip? Where you want to send your kids to private school? So you so you're busting hard. You're trying to you know achieve your dreams, make your things come true. So. But in the midst of making your dreams come true and, and, and trying to achieve, you gotta let your body recover, man. You don't wanna fall sick and have to go in the hospital and spend that money on hospital or have to take leave and, and can't enjoy yourself and leave in the hospital and leave. So, you know, eat, eat well, sleep well, pray all the time, trust in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and try to grab that rest, man, because rest is so essential and so important. So stay black in America, don't go anywhere, don't leave. This is the greatest country in the world for a black man or black woman. Don't let anybody dupe you into going someplace else. There have been people who went other places in Africa and they seem to enjoy themselves, but the majority of them tend to come back. So always have yourself a plan B. And uh, things are always gonna get even better and great over here in America. I can remember in the 90s when I was a younger man when black folks couldn't get a cab. Now you got Uber, Lyft, and cabs are begging to pick you up. So things do change. Things do get better. Technology changes everything. So be a part of the change, not a part of people running away. So stay black in America. Don't go anywhere. Greatest country in the world for a black man or a black woman. Bye. <laughs>